Uh, press plus policy update issue 81. We are not going to look at it, but it will be at the no discussion on the cow, right. uh, May cow. And approval on a June meeting. Approval of the mini bus lease. You, know, you received the update on this and the weekly update, as well as uh, what Tim stated. Our current buses have uh, seat belts. The new buses will have seat belts. And the same offer still applies. If uh, So I'm recommending the board approve it tonight. So now that we're going to be approving with seat belts, do we now have to instruct yeah. everyone who drives those because we have that student should be out of district uh, um, coaches driving those buses? We have other people so that we have to instruct those individuals that they have to have all those individuals. They do seat some safety training already with um, Mr. Reck. He has to do uh, one thing, and we're just going to put that in there so that it's a a placard that will be in the bus that seatbelts should, should be worn at all times. What did you, don't you have a safety committee? Yes. That's one committee we, we don't. don't you have a safety we committee? have a security committee that John Passarella deals with the crisis plan. Mm -hmm. I thought he's read something about a safety committee. That might be our, our, our committee with the security crisis manual. Okay. We have a safety policy that says we have a safety committee. We have one, but I, when you say safety committee, I don't know if it deals with the mini buses. Well, what I'm so saying, so I can bring it to them. Well, I'm we deal more that more when we do the lockdown drills, the tornado drills. I, my suggestion, my thing is, if we have a safety committee, wearing seat belts in a bus and the rules is a safety issue. So, to me, it would make sense to have the safety committee consider it, how we're going to address it, and put a procedure, you know, together because. If we do it haphazardly, and one coach says, ah, I don't care if you wear seat belts, and has an accident, and some kid gets hurt, now they're in trouble. So I, I think you got these structures, mm -hmm. you showed us 64 committees or something, but I have to look at the safety. If we have the structure, why don't we use the structure we have? And, and again, I'm supporting John, but just in a little different, and say, bring it to the safety committee, put some procedures, whether there should be something hanging in the bus, whether you make an announcement to kids or whatever, so that we have a, a process to put this kind of thing together and, and adopt it at some point. Because if we're saying we get them, and the current ones have them apparently, Tim, did you tell us? Yes. So we've been not requiring people to wear them. Right. This is a change so management type. I would thing. suggest somehow that anyone who who is going to be authorized to drive those minivans have to go through some kind of they do training right now, including and so that you would add to that training is make sure kids are wearing their seats. Thank you. As I stated earlier, they Thank already you. do do a, a, okay. the but training. I, I'm looking at it from a completely different thing. If we make it a rule, it's got to be enforced, which means you have to say it's a rule as at some point, and it's going to be enforced as at sure. some point, and it's got to be. Something in the, the students know it's a rule, and the teachers know it's a rule. Yeah, and the parents. You can't could, just say yeah. at a meeting, yeah. start wearing seat belts, right. because then you have to deal with the fact that if it doesn't happen, how do you address it? So you add it to the handbook. That's right. This yeah. the mm -hmm. Coaches handbook. Even the, even the, handbook. the um, athletic and the activity handbook, everybody signs off and reads, and it could say an expectation mm -hmm. is if you're yeah, traveling wherever the appropriate on these buses. Places. We'll address right. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Do I have a motion on this? Resolved that the Board of Education Township High School District 2 Lakeville County, Illinois, hereby approves the three year lease for two 2012 Chevy 14 passenger activity buses at the annual cost of $5,985 per bus as presented in the April 23rd, 2013 board agenda packet. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Mike Welch. Anybody else? Marianne? Mr. Yes. Dr. King? Yes. Mr. Moon? Yes. Mr. Walsh? Yes. Mr. Welch? Yes. Mr. Richard? Yes. Mr. Simba? Yes.